Layer export in Autodesk Graphic makes it super easy and fast to grab assets from your designs to use in web or UI development, for example. Using the Layers panel, we can give each layer or object in a layer a name to help us organize our designs. But we can also use specific tags to define file types for export. Let's grab this header image here and we'll expand our Layers panel. And we can double click on any object or layer to give it a name. So this one's already called header. I'm just gonna give it a dot JPG for JPEG, just like you would see in your file browser. I'll hit enter. Now that's the only one that has a specific file name at this point. So I'm gonna go over to file, export layers, which is also command option shift E. This will bring up the export layers dialog where I can choose whether I want to export all the layers or the tagged layers and objects. Tagged layers and objects will be only those that we have given file name definitions to. We can also choose the layer size or canvas size. Most of the time you're probably going to want the layer size because this is to collect our assets. We can define a scale in here as well or you can just choose to export a 100% scale plus at times two resolution and at times three resolution. There's a tick box here if you want to include hidden layers. When we click save, it's going to ask us for a file path. So I've just created a folder here called assets and I'm going to export them there. I'll click export and then show you what this has done just with naming one layer in our layers panel. So here's our assets folder that we just exported to. So we've got our header.jpg. That's the JPEG just at standard resolution from our design. Then at two times and at three times resolution. I'm gonna delete these files and just show you what this can do further. So once you're finished with your design, here's where it can get really quick and easy just to export everything out of your design that you want to use in something else. Whatever your reason for exporting specific objects out of your designs, this is the easy way to do it. So we've already got our header with the JPG. We can do this with all of our other photos as well. We could also use a PNG or SVG file types. For the photos, I'm going to use JPEGs. So I'm just going to double click and just add a dot JPG. This will also work with groups. So for example, I have this icon, which is made of two different shapes, this blue one, and behind it, I have a white circle, but it's all inside this group. So if I just rename the group, I'm going to give this one a PNG it will export that entire group, as well as this mail icon. Anything else that you would like to export, even inside of groups, if you want to pull out those individual things, you can give those a tag in the layers panel to be able to extract all of those assets from your design. This is fantastic without having to tear apart your design and bring it into new documents and resize those documents to the dimensions of each asset. Individually, you can just give your layers and objects in your layers a tag. And when you're done tagging everything that you want to export, do it all in one go. You can do this with layers as well. So this entire layer, I want to be able to export as a concept or mock-up. So I can double click on the layer itself and just add, on this case, I'll do a JPEG. And I'm gonna change this profile image here to an SVG, just so you can see that that also works. So profile photo dot SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic, which is great to use on the web. This is great for using your icons or logos on your websites. So that'd be it for now. I've got everything tagged that I want to export. So I'm going to do a command option shift E, or you can find that like I showed you at the beginning of this video under the file menu. We're going to keep it on layer size and only export tagged 
layers or objects. But I will also include the times two resolution and times three resolution of each tagged image. This doesn't matter for SVG because uh, SVG is a vector file format, which means it's infinitely scalable. So this will only affect anything that is actually an image file like a PNG or a JPEG. I'll click save, save it to my assets folder, click export. Very quickly, we are done. Let me show you what we have just collected from our graphic document. All of this was just exported in one click. All we had to do was go through and tag everything that we wanted to export. And we've got our layer as the example of the design layout. We also have that at times two and times three. We've got just the header at times two and times three and every single asset that we want to use in something else or continue the development of our UI or website, etc. And there's our SVG as well. So I hope you can see the benefit and power of the layer export feature in Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.